Back is straight. Knees lowered. Okay, arms are looking better on that. Okay, good. Now the only other thing would be the hips. More accentuate of the hips. And the arms out, so he's starting to learn. See, now he's arms out in the pattern right. Okay. That's a lot of work to do on that one. <laughs> okay, so that, so, okay, so good so far. No, that was actually good. You kept your head up, you kept your bot, uh, you kept your, um, your back straight. So I'm gonna write this down real quick. So this is the eagle turn. And, uh, I, have a lot, I have a lot of problems keeping my legs going in the same, you know, position. So that's, Oh one of yeah, my yeah, yeah. Problems. That's that's one of the um, that's one of the hardest aspects of the eagle turn when people are trying to learn it. Right. I don't know why. It, I guess it just it just is what it is. So knees. I'm gonna write knees low. Uh, bend knees. Keep knees low. And then okay. the second thing we went over was um, our head up. Back straight, and there's only two other points, and then we can finish for tonight. Okay. Uh, uh, the two other points would be is one has to do with I'm writing this down. Uh, lower back, you want to arch your lower back inward. Okay. So let me show you really quick, and I know you have a good idea, but let me just depict. So. Uh, So you right. Okay. So, yep. so your back was good. But see, see now the difference. See how my see how my lower back is uh, my lower back is arched in like a circle, and now if you stick your butt out, see how your lower back is arched inward. See the difference between this yeah. and this. I know it looks funny and right. all that, but but what this does is it, uh, it 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 fixes your spinal cord and it just. It makes it so that your energy is up over your hips proper. You know, you can relate this. Oh, to, I see what you're saying. You can relate this to yoga, to martial arts, to many other things. So, okay. so that's third. So try to keep lower back arched inward when you do this. Okay. So, so show if you can show right. me on that. Okay. Will do. Yes, there it is. That one was good. Hard to see, but it looked like. Yeah. Now the problem in, when you learn all these different aspects of skating in a particular trick is that you tend to focus on what you're learning on, and you forget about the others. So, for instance, I would say to lower knees more. If we get to lower your knees, or you forget to keep your back straight. Uh, okay, right, so uh, okay. good. Look like you were good, especially on the second one you did. Yeah. No. So ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm having a lot of problems like doing, like concentrating on all three. Yeah, which yeah. Which is good. But uh, I definitely got some work to do on them. But I know what you're talking about on that one. It actually makes your back feel a whole lot better. Like. Like, uh, I should be able to do it, it's just that I gotta realign my legs and stuff and get ready, or get used to, uh, doing that and keeping my legs aligned That's while I'm, uh, in the split, uh, eagle format. In the, uh, yeah, when you're eagle turn, right. And you will find that right. in extreme ice skating, well, any sport, um, just specifically extreme ice skating, especially with jumps, it, it becomes ten times harder, and for the reason that, 
uh, you have many, many little things to concentrate on, and it's hard to get them all. And in jumps, if you right. don't get everything right, you tend to wobble in the air and you fall. And that's what makes right. it so hard. So eagle turn, it's like, okay, keep knees uh, bent, and then you got to keep your back straight, your head up, and then uh, then you got to keep your lower back arched inwards. Like, you can't think of all It's just muscle memory, so you'll get it eventually. Uh, the last, the last right. point... Uh, I just wanted to ask you, actually, before we go over the last point on the eagle turn, uh, is there was there something that you wanted to cover tonight specifically? Um, not really. I've been working on stuff a whole lot more since, uh, you know, and I just get really good ideas and stuff on the you end, know, and kind of go from there. Uh, because most, of the, like I said, most of the sessions that I go to are really busy. I could do whatever. They they don't have a problem with us. You know, the ones that can actually skate really well and stuff like that, so they don't stop us from doing anything. But it's, uh, you know, just some of the stuff that we do, it's, it's kind of a little bit difficult to do when there's like 300 people in here. Uh, but uh, I still, I, I do a lot of stuff. So. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah, uh, when it's busy at my rink, I, like on Sundays during the winter season, I just don't even go. It's just a waste of time. So, oh, but, um, <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, I love I'm a big weaver. I love weaving in between people. Oh, so. I couldn't do that. My, they, would, they would get pissed at my ring. <laughs> I, I would they love they to don't hear. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to visit your ring someday. Um, that would be awesome. <laughs> hopefully, maybe, hopefully maybe this summer if I can come up with money. The money issue okay. is a problem. I'm investing well, thousands the, of dollars in the skate. Right. Okay. Um, did you want me to try something else in that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so I, I talk too much. I'm <laughs> Oh, no, it's cool. It's, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, arms. Okay, so the last thing for the eagle turn was... Uh -huh. So I'm going to show you my arms, how it ought to look. And it's, it, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty specific because the way in which your arms are... The way in which they are it is, is going to affect the balance at your hips. At least if you do it correctly, and if you don't do it correctly, you will not feel that balance. And the only way to do it is to actually try. So, uh, let's see if I can. So, so here's the here, here the all elbows are inward. So the elbows are like touching your body, your lat muscles uh, specifically, right. and your hands are. are um, well, there's a, actually to be honest with you, there's like a little there's a little space. There's like a little space here. But you get yeah. the idea. And uh, your arms are like out. So when you turn, you're sort of using... See how I'm, I'm almost using my upper body a little bit, at least my arms out, to, to help me uh, shift. Or, or to, turn for the, uh, for the, to turn for the eagle. Okay. So uh, let's... All right. All right. If you do it close to the camera. So arms. Hmm. His arms are going out. Which is hard to do in the first time because you're thinking about so many different things. Uh, especially if it's hard to hold that edge. You keep coming out of the edge. <laughs> I kind of felt my arms out spread out more than what they should have been, and I didn't even notice that until I came back. Right, right. So, um,. Remember like last time I had you stand in front of the camera, I know it was pretty ridiculous looking, but you, I had you stand in front of the camera just for muscle memory like this? M remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. And I had you, it was, I know it was ridiculous. So, can you keep the headphones plugged in? Is there enough like length in the cord where you could stand in front of the camera? Yeah.